Hello, bonjour, bonsoir, bon nuit, qui j'en yay, ça passe, salut tout le monde. Hope all is well. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back to my Zen Wellness space. I have something on my heart and my mind, and I felt like it was time to give you all an intuitive wellness update and some new things that are going on in my Zen wellness space. So welcome, welcome. Like I mentioned before, I am the Virgo Moo Mama in charge in the Zen wellness space. And as the cosmic doula in the Zen wellness space, it's my passion to create a safe environment for marginalized communities, specifically Black mothers to come, to enter, to feel well, to be well, honoring their intuition, honoring their cosmic blueprint, honoring their human design, and exploring and experimenting with all the fun modalities that promote self-awareness and spiritual sovereignty. So the reason why, as I mentioned, I'm coming in today to give a little bit of a well intuitive wellness update is because I have something brewing. I have something brewing that I'm very excited to launch after the Virgo full moon. And I wanted to get it out there and experiment um, with it with y'all. So feel free to um, subscribe to this YouTube channel if my vibe resonates with you. Give me a like if you like the video. Um, subscribe and hit bell notifications because there's definitely going to be more that's coming out in the Zen wellness space. So what I have been thinking about, if you know me, <laughs> I say this a lot because it can kind of give a vibe um, or help people understand my vibe. So I am a Virgo moon and rising with a Gemini sun. And in human design, I am a three, six smarter slash role model um, archetype with an emotional authority and a manifesting generator. So if you've watched some of my videos, maybe the why astrology video, as well as the why human design video, you can kind of get an idea of what that means if you have tapped into some of the free resources that I have um, put out there, you kind of know what that means. But my human design teacher likes to say that um, as a three, six, I am a philosophical adventurer and I definitely resonate with that. And while I have been on my philosophical journey adventuring, um, podcasts have been in the ethers and kind of in the back of my mind. And I did a podcast when I first started my intuitive wellness journey in 2020 with my childhood best friend, Amanda. And we created a podcast called the Transformative Circle Podcast, where we dove into all of this, a lot of these topics. And, um, with, as per usual, transition happens, and um, we've just been kind of focusing on our own intuitive wellness journeys and navigating those. But there's still, I have a defined throat in, um, in human design, and with me being a manifesting generator, I have that channel that uh, from my throat to my sacral. And so my gut has been telling me, girl, you ready for the podcast? You ready to use that voice activation? You ready to use some of your charisma? I have the channel of charisma out there. Um, so you're ready to use some of this to get the good word out and know that it doesn't have to be perfect. No, it doesn't have to be perfect. I recently got um, an amazing astrology reading from um, Pam, and I'll make sure that I link her information below if you would like to connect with her. She's an amazing astrologer. And uh, we did a beautiful energy exchange where I shared a little bit about human design. And she shared some more in-depth things about my um, astrology chart. And what the big thing, big thing that came out of that was leaning in to the flow, leaning into being without perfectionism. My North node is in Pisces and my South node is in Virgo. So it's kind of like my karmic destiny in this lifetime to lean into dreaming, being creative, being very spiritual and releasing some of the 
critical moments and um, some of the critique and the details that my Virgo moon and rising loves to do. (laughs) But it also being in my South Node really asked me to release some of that. And so I've been thinking, it's like, how can I practice? Because if you me, I'm I'm a big component of practice what you preach. I'm not going to share anything with you that I haven't experimented with or explored below. So I'm like, how can I explore and play with my Pisces North Node? Um, I am 35. And so I've had a couple of years after my Saturn return. And um, they say that you really lean into your, um, your North Node at 36. And that's kind of when I'm, you know, kind of want to play with this energy. So thinking about how I want to play with this, I was like, okay, let me come out here and just record a podcast um, on my YouTube page. Let it be messy. Let it be imperfect. And that is a way for me to channel information from my spirit guides, my angelic team, my sky team uh, to deliver messages for you. Because one thing that spirits told me that I am an oracle. I'm an oracle of hope, equanimity, and love. And the world needs it. The world needs it. So um, me showing up in this podcast is a great opportunity for me to release the perfectionism and doing all the notes and all the really getting everything strategically right before I show up and do a podcast, but just lean into spirit with my mic, with my camera, and just let it flow. So this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing. And at the time of me filming this, um, the sun, the transiting sun in human design is in gate 55, the abundant spirit. And gate 55 is my unconscious sun, is my unconscious sun. If you want to see a post that I, in an affirmation that I recently wrote about this, you can go on my YouTube page and go over to posts or community and you can check that out. Um, but yeah, with this being in my unconscious sun, um, Gate 55 is my power, is my talent. Um, but it being in my incon- unconscious side, it says it's, it's a little hidden, right? It's something that I was born with and it's part of my genetic imprint, but may not be something that I'm, I'm totally aware of. Um, so this podcast is a perfect way for me to kind of not only lean into my Pisces North Node, but to lean into the abundant spirit. And with this particular gate, gate 55, it really asks us to um, really feel our emotions. So come up um, and talk and vocalize and create art from the melancholy or the joy that I'm experiencing through my emotions. I am an emotional authority. And so a lot of what I do um, is is emotionally driven and I lean into my intuition. Your authority is where you can look for your intuition and it lies in my emotions. So that's kind of what led me to um, wanting to do this podcast. And I'm playing around with the name a little bit, but I think I'm going to name it Intuitive Wellness Experiment. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below if you like that um, or if you have any other suggestions for the podcast because we're co collaborating on this together. Okay. (laughs) Let's work on this together in, um, astrology, my Pisces, my Pisces rules, um, or is over my seventh house. So again, partnerships, collaborations, let's work on this together. Um, so the format, what I'm kind of thinking about, and I'm exploring with this podcast, it's going to be a podcast where I discuss so many topics on intuitive wellness and intuitive spiritual journey. I'll be sharing my intuitive wellness journey as well as my spiritual journey while also interviewing my spiritual friends, colleagues, partners, and mentors, hopefully if they want to come on. The episodes will be a mix of solo episodes as well as um, guest interviews with some of the, you know, uh, people that I mentioned. And if you're interested in coming on and talking about your intuitive wellness journey, the journey that it took for you to become um, well and um, feel good in your body, invitation is open to um, reach out to me and we can talk about having you on this podcast YouTube page um, in the future. Um, 
the goal for this is really to create a dynamic and engaging listening experience. So again, your comments, I'm going to be looking to, I do best when I respond, um, manifesting generators to inform and to respond, to respond and then to inform, right? So I do this best. So these comments and likes and just even if you don't feel comfortable commenting, if you have my number, send me a text, send me a Instagram DM. Those are all things that I can respond to, which can give me different insights to come up, topics to come um, and explore on this podcast. Um, the goal is to inspire listeners to lean into their authenticity um, while providing valuable insights and supportive tools on their intuitive journey. Um, I would love to build a community of like-minded individuals in this Zen wellness space so that we can all support each other in our own intuitive journeys of being and feeling well. Um, What's different about this podcast is that it's going to be an experiment. <laughs> it's going to be an experiment where I'm releasing perfectionism. So everything, it, it's not going to be consistent because I, Lord knows I've tried to be consistent. And I just know that's not part of my makeup. My conscious son is in the gate of now and it's all about busyness, going MG, going from one topic to the next. And so um, knowing that it's going to be an experiment, but it's all about embracing our authenticity um, while connecting with others on a deep level. Um, so the kind of like the topics or the flow of the episodes of what I'm thinking, again, putting it out there, feel free to let me know what you think of low and we can um, chat about it and discuss about it. And maybe I'll change the flow of this podcast and do know that it's probably going to change again, MG over here, not only am I an MG, my business is an MGs and wellness space. So we got a lot of um, switching vibes, um, but each episode will have, um, I'll end each episode with an intuitive wellness focus um, of the day or of the podcast. And um, right now I'm in the process of launching my intuitive wellness course or workshop class. And in this particular workshop, it's a great, and if you watch this in the future, I'll be sure to link it down because it's going to be an uh, evergreen offering that's going to be available for purchase whenever, however. And in this hour-long um, webinar workshop, we go through the eight dimensions of intuitive wellness and what it means. So physical wellness, spiritual wellness, social wellness, cultural wellness. We dive deep into those. I explore where you can find um, your... I, I, I dive deep into intuition and what it means. Um, I explore um, and talk about where you can find intuition in your natal chart, in your human design chart, um, and a whole bunch of other things. I even have um, a, a kind of notion workbook that you can go through to help you dismantle uh, what you thought, felt, and heard about wellness in order for you to reprogram your mind around intuitive wellness and what it means for you as an individual. Um, that's when I entered this wellness world, and we'll talk more about that on the podcast, but when I entered this wellness, wellness world, it was just like, black and white wellness, you know, white, skinny, yoga, body girl, just doing yoga, eating or drinking her smoothies. But what I've learned through my own um, intuitive wellness journey that is so unique and individual to each of us, all of us. And so I would love to have multiple people from different backgrounds, different religions, different cultures, talk about what it means for them to feel and be well. And we can do some of that by um, dismantling what we thought about wellness and reprogramming that. So I'll make sure that I link that below if you wanted to grab that free workbook um, for yourself. I, um, back in the day, I called myself the Zen Wellness Mama, kind of like the Whitney Houston to your Brandy story, where I would come in and provide these tools and um, um, so there's a lot of fun um, Cinderella, Whitney Houston, Brandy gifts in there if you want to check it out. Invitation to do so. So another invitation for my projectors out there, <laughs> making sure I give lots of invitations, but another invitation to join me on this journey. Again, give me a thumbs up if you're excited about this. Put some praise hands or write a comment. Um of what you would want to see, what you would want to hear. Um, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so that you are notified when new episodes come out. And 
I just want to close out by just sharing my values and my values, um, not only my personal values, but the values of Zen Wellness Space, LLC. Um, and so that you can really get a better understanding of what I'm about and where my business is rooted in and the foundation that it's rooted in. And so my values are empowerment, liberation, self-knowledge, intuitive wellness, community, spiritual sovereignty, ancient wisdom, equanimity, and duality. And some of the beliefs that I have is that everything is connected. Our ancestors are guiding us as we honor and respect and elevate them. The problem is the solution. We are magicians and we can alchemize our own lives. Affirmations in our words have power to change our minds and lives. The universe is always speaking and connecting to us. Gate 55 intuitive, eight dimensions of intuitive wellness to be and feel well. Again, chorus below. Connecting to the community and our culture will uplift the connective. So connecting with your own individual community and um, culture will help support the collective. All women should feel supported during, before, and after, as well as in the preconception phase of the whole birthing process. We can all be doulas and we all need a doula in our lives. So whether you have a kid, whether you have a plant, whether you are birthing a project, we all need a doula and we can all be doulas. Um, and the last belief here as ha I have is working with your moon sign is a gateway to understanding your inner world and how it can support you for your well-being. So that's just one of the snippet tools that I have and hopefully coming out with the moon course <laughs> that's I've been sitting on for a couple of years. But this Virgo full moon, your Virgo moon girly over here is hype, is feeling the energy and is wanting to live out some of my values and my beliefs um, with some of you all in this and wellness space. So get ready because after the Virgo full moon, there's some really good, exciting things to um, to explore and to come out. So if you already heard the call of action to comment, share, and share this with a friend. So share this with somebody that has been talking about starting a journey, has been talking about intuition, share this, the more the merrier that we can have in this space. Because again, it's going to be collaborative. Um, let's see. Okay. So before we head out, I'm just going to throw a couple of names that I'm experimenting with. I think it's going to be experimenting with an intuitive, no, it's going to be um, intuitive wellness journey experiment or experimenting with intuitive wellness or the intuitive wellness experiment. Let me know what you think, how you feel, like, comment, subscribe. I love you all, please share. Again, if you don't feel comfortable, send me a DM, send me a text message and share this with a friend. I love you all so much and take care. I'm sure I'll catch you all after the Virgo full moon.